Oh. 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 can hold them. Oh, look at the beautiful wings. Oh, that's a lot of blood, eh? So Monty, oh, sweetie, had to go to the vets. I noticed him acting a little bit unusual. I know he was molten, and in my previous video, I mentioned that sometimes they puff up and act a little bit different. But this lasted a few months, and he was, like, puffing up and kept shaking his head like there was something in his ear or his nose. And he was due for a uh, yearly examination anyways. So I want to show you what he looked like um, when he was doing that shaking. And so here he is. You can see him. His uh, feathers are puffed up like on his back. And um, he just shakes his head. And here he is on the perch. You can see him again. He's just uh, really puffed up. So I made an appointment at the vet's. And I put him in his carrier with a blanket over it because it's still cold outside. I put him in the car and I sat in the back seat with him all the way there. And if the car was heated, of course, he was nice and warm. And I took him to the vets. This is him in the car going for a ride. So now we're at the vets and watch what the vet does next. He's got a bit of debris in his mouth. He does? Yeah. It could just be stuff that he's picked up while he was molting. Mm hmm. And uh, what was in there preening away. Even his own dust, eh? Because they're very yeah, dusty, long right? They're very dusty, these and, guys. And that's what I thought, right? There's some in there? Yeah. I just hope it's not infected, though, right? No. Well, it's just regular. Oh, I wanted to dust. try, but. Oh, I wonder if that's what he was just trying to get out of. Yikes. Oh. oh, there it comes. There. Oh, oh I know. I know, we almost Just getting a it's nose just, pick. It's just sitting right there. Oh. I like doing that. Oh, oh, it's big. Let's see that. Oh, wow. I didn't, uh, where did it go? Oh, my gosh. That is big, huh? Yeah, I didn't realize okay. it would be that it's big. Not, it's just a dry little um, oh, wow. flake that's in there. So maybe that's what bothers him then? Be, yeah. And it gets hard in there. Oh, he's got stuff in his other side. Oh. So basically, Monty got his nose picked. He got his nose picked. He has some debris in there. And I'm sure he feels uh, better now that he can breathe. I normally can do it myself, but with Monty, he's really difficult for me to hold and to see. And I didn't, you know, want to hurt him. I wanted someone else to do it. And he was due for his exam anyway. So he got his nose all cleaned out. And now the vet's going to uh, just tidy up his beak. His nostrils aren't enlarged now or anything, right? They're normal? Yep. They look good. He's just getting laser in his older age. He doesn't want to yeah. pick his own nose. <laughs> he doesn't like to bathe very much. He'll just stick his feet in it and just walk around and he thinks he's done. That's a, that's probably a bit of a problem there. Just because mm -hmm. um, these guys tend to be so dusty. Yeah. So now that Monty's beak is looking good and smooth, uh, the vet's going to check his nails. His nails weren't very long, but he just took the tips off of uh, each of the nails. I think his nails are okay. I don't think they really need much trimming, right? Maybe just a tip or something. It's all right, Monty. Yeah, they're pretty short, huh? Oh, 
Yeah, I know. You're okay. There we go. So now Monty is all groomed. The vet is going to examine him. He's going to check his wings and his body. So let's have a look. Yeah, check his back somehow just to make sure there's nothing there. If he'll let you. They're strong, eh? They're they're very strong. I don't know how you hold them by yourself. I can't, I can't hold them. Oh, look at the beautiful wings! So pretty. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. Yeah. Nice, eh? Pretty. Some feathers coming out. Yeah, he was biting, yeah, he was biting like under this wing. Well, it all looks okay. Looks good? Yeah. No lumps or bumps or anything? No. He's got a, a large area here where he's dropped a lot of the down feathers and new ones oh, are coming in. Oh, wow, look at that. The new ones are coming in? Yep, yeah, all those little white. Oh, that's it, eh? Two. Okay. So he's probably just itchy. Probably not the same thing. Yeah, itchy. it's probably been itchy. But. So that white stuff is normal. That's, yeah, that's, that's just, just these, the, That's these guys growing. Oh, the down, like the downy feathers? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. So the vet didn't really find anything unusual except for he was molting. Like I thought, he was molting for quite a few months there. And that's all those, the white stuff under his wing is just basically downy feathers, new pin feathers and downy feathers coming in. He didn't see any lumps or bumps or anything unusual so I'm pretty happy about that so since he was at the vets I decided to do his um, annual blood work they check for anything abnormal so he's going to get his his blood uh, done now on his neck so you can see it yeah oh yeah and this big giant vein right calling my name looks like a small one to me <laughs> <laughs> you could, you're used to that those look so tiny they should get and they know small I guess it's a 28 yeah. gauge Wow. Oh wow, he's got a lot of blood. Mm-hmm. We'll leave some in there for him. <laughs> so I cut this nail back fairly short. Mm -hmm. Just um just to keep it out of his way. Oh, that's a lot of blood, eh? Wow. We we're done, Mr. Monty. Very interesting. And he just stood still. He hasn't even figured it out yet. Why is hmm. she holding me? Wow. We'll see if you're okay then, I guess, eh? <laughs> so you see all that blood that came out of Monty? I was like, wow, does he have any left? But the syringe is pretty skinny, so I don't think it's a lot of blood overall. But the vets know what they're doing. They know how much blood can come out of each bird, right? They don't overdo it. But anyways, I just got his test results today and everything's normal. He doesn't have any problems at all. His uh, stool sample was normal. All his blood was normal. His liver and kidneys. Everything is was good, eh? Monty, everything was very good. So basically... He was just molting. And so like in my previous video about molting, your bird can look very sick. You can look very sick when molting, but always get your bird checked because you never know if they do have another problem on top of the molting. The molting can make them very stressed and weak and get other problems. But in Monty's case, he was okay. So he was just molting, but um, I like to take my birds to the vet just in case, you know, there's a problem. And the vet bill is very expensive for exotic um, vets the bill was over four hundred dollars close to five hundred dollars the blood work alone was over two hundred dollars i believe two three hundred dollars but anyway he's worth it right monty are you worth it yes you are so how's your bird ages you should always take them to the vet anyways no matter what age they are but when they're older they they can get a little bit you know more problems and you check their blood because they can get um you know liver and kidney issues so i just wanted to point that out that if you're thinking of getting a bird you don't have one already make sure you have enough money to pay for your birds and vet bills on top of everything else so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video
Bye. Monty, say bye.